I'd like to start by thanking you so much for the comments and the questions you left on my recent videos. They mean a lot to me, so please keep them coming. Thank you. Okay, we have to talk. My plan today is answer some of those questions, uh, give you some context of what's going on, and talk a little bit about the future. Okay, the elephant in the room. Many of you told me in the comments that you don't believe Obsidian is a good replacement for Evernote, and I agree with that to some extent. I have already told this many times here on the channel, and I still believe that Evernote is the app, the app out there with less friction. In other words, if you're looking for a good note-taking app that you can start using right away and that can also grow with you, Evernote is still the best answer in my opinion. My opinion, okay? I don't see how I can help less technically inclined people to be more productive or agile on Obsidian. Furthermore, some people, for example, most if not all my clients need simple solutions like Evernote and Trello, for example. They already have so much going on in their lives, they need something simple. They, they, they need to start, open the app and start using it. So why all these videos about Obsidian recently? The truth is that although we humans believe that we can control anything, life is pretty unpredictable. <laughs> you are the ones to blame here. <laughs> you ask me for help. <laughs> there is a playlist in my channel. There's no videos inside this playlist. The title of this playlist is You Are Free to Go. The idea was to create videos showing how to export notes from Evernote to all the other apps, at least most of them. When I started the channel, I created all these playlists. They were ideas for the future. I never created any video for this playlist, but this is a beautiful principle ingrained in Evernote. You are free to go. This is how the app was built from the, big, the very beginning. And although many of you were recently asking me for help uh, on how to export notes and export from Evernote and import into another app, to be honest, I was kind of ignoring that. I don't know, I, I knew that was, I knew it would be a lot of work and maybe that's why I never created any video for that playlist. But because I really, truly believe on this principle, I had to do it. And that's why I, I told you, uh, you are to blame here <laughs> for the videos on Obsidian. But uh, the thing is, I've been using Obsidian for maybe two or more years uh, on many of my projects, and that's why I'm talking more about it. I'm comfortable talking about it because I understand how it works. Not all of it because it's pretty complex, but it's the app I'm more comfortable talking about. What I didn't expect was how many people would like to leave. Statistically speaking, the articles and videos about this topic are at another level here on the channel which means that I still have a lot of work to do. So let's talk a little bit about why Obsidian, why I choose it instead of all the other apps out there. I think the main thing is that Obsidian files the notes and whatever we put inside the app, they are in reality inside our file structure in the computer. They are there in plain view. You can open a folder and see your files there. And when I'm working on a video, I first write a script. And for some videos, I already have some clips and images that I can have inside a folder and drag them 
to the script, to the position in the script where I want that to be in the video. I, it's kind of a timeline. The script has a timeline of text, images, and video clips. And when it's time to record the video, I can right click that file and ask Obsidian to show me where it is on my file structure and drag that video or that image to the video editor. It's so simple, it makes my workflow really flow. <laughs> I use this a lot. It's, it, it's amazing because I can simply drag that image, that video or whatever I have in that script that I need to use on the video production. And I don't know, I, I, I don't think any other app would work like this. At least I don't know any other that would work like this. So maybe this is the main reason why I choose Obsidian. But for sure, video production is my main use of Obsidian. To give you some perspective of my current situation, I only moved about 10 notebooks or 2,000 notes of my 16,000 to Obsidian. And I did this because I needed real notes. The geek in me is having a lot of fun with this new tool, but I needed real notes to, to understand if it would work. And for those of you who are saying that moving from one tool to another is not productive, I 100%, 110% agree with you. So much so that in 15 years, this is the first time I moved this many real notes to another two. But like I said, this was the only way I could really test it, really make sure it would work. What is unexpected here is that I'm really having fun. Yeah, I am. Yes, I'll still publish videos about Evernote here in the channel. As a matter of fact, there's one coming soon, but there are so many of them already. And maybe it's time to give uh, other tools a little bit of space here on the channel. And not only other tools, other types of videos. <laughs> the way guys please give me some love here I worked on the last video about this computer for the entire Saturday and almost none of you watched it oh uh, please help me it, it, it it's a, a a format that I would like to explore more here in the channel just take a look, tell me what you think about it. Okay, Saturday I worked on this video, but Sunday I gave Obsidian Publish try. It's a pretty interesting feature that lets us create a website with some or all our notes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> If you are a patron or a YouTube member, please go check my latest post to learn how to follow my progress there. And if you still have any question about this Evernote Obsidian situation, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.